said that there was meaning when you knelt in the end zone. I assume he's talking about when you're kneeling down in the end zone, not the. <laughs> but I don't. I don't know if you want to share that with us. But is there a deeper meaning behind that? Um. No, nothing I can give for you to you. <laughs> Isaiah coming flying in there. Did you see the slide? Yeah, I saw that. I was, I was, it's pretty uh, agile of him, nimble of him. Um, I wish I would have seen it in time because I don't know why he did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, uh, you know, it, the energy, you know, from I remember my rookie year, like it's just, um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. You know, he's, uh, uh, you know, new, getting, getting acclimated to the game, um, getting settled in a little bit. Um, but the excitement and joy that's there, you know what I'm saying? You'd love to see it. Did you even notice it initially? Because no, you seemed pretty I didn't, I didn't. I did not. Yeah. How much more comfortable do you see him getting getting those extra reps now offensively? Um, yeah, I honestly, I'm just trying to talk to him uh, and just, you know, give him any advice and kind of, you know, soothe his anxiety as far as, you know, how the, how the game is and how, how it's going, how it can go. Um, obviously, you know, you get into this league as a rookie, you know, as a young guy, you're playing against guys that you've looked up to your whole life or you've seen on the TV your whole life. Kind of psych you out if you allow it to, um, you know, but that's on us as veterans and guys around him to, you know, calm him down and, uh, and allow him to just go be himself and play the game. Kind of going off of that, you know what it's like to come into the league with the expectations of being one of the top picks. The the topics surrounding Marvin, it's the connection between you guys hasn't fully seemed to be there. Is there anything you could do as a veteran to make sure that the pressure is not as much on him? Uh, I think when you know when you are one of those guys, like his his mentality and his um, you know expectations of himself are always going to remain the same. Like that's not that's nothing that he I can do. He can y'all. Anything that y'all write about, like, that's not going to affect, you know, the way he sh feels like he should be playing the game um, or wants to play the game. Um, but at the same time, no, I don't think we've uh, even scratched the surface of what we can be. And I know, you know, it's frustrating for fans and it's frustrating for us too because, you know, I want him to have 10 catches a game, 100 yards a game. Like, um, we, all, we all want that, you know. Um, but again, it takes time, it takes work, and that's what we're striving to be, striving to be great. Um, and I believe we'll, be, we'll get there. You've seen three different sort of iconic TDs from you this year. Are those all just spur of the moment celebrations, or is there any um, of that have some history to it? No, I just um, you know I, I, it's crazy. Like two what fifty forty yard runs this year. Just um, I, I have never really had the opportunity to get out and open like that. You know, so far in my career, I feel like in the NFL. But uh, no, it's fun. It's fun. Um, anytime you get to you know show off the ability, uh, God bless you with it, it's, it's fun. You're pretty subtle with your celebrations. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Do you try to strike that line between, you know, showing some emotion but not on the Yeah, low-key dude, uh, oh. you know. If you know, you know. I don't know. You know, it's not. Back-to-back <laughs> yeah. yeah, -back game with, with no sacks, well, obviously that's a team effort. What, what are you saying that's making that possible? Um, you know, obviously a line holding up. Um, you know, sometimes uh, the sacks, the stat, that stat is, you know, sometimes, you know, guys are getting pressure and you get the ball out. Sometimes, you know, I'm holding on to the ball too long and, and the guys get sacks and the whole line was doing their job. Um, maybe my eyes were bad, my feet were bad, whatever it is. Um, but that's, you know, I, I guess, you know, that, that definitely, um, you know, correlates to winning for sure. Uh, you don't want, you know, you don't want to be giving up sacks, but um, I think it goes hand in hand. After the game, Jonathan said that you he was impressed with how you operated on, on Monday night. But then he later said that you've been kind of doing this all year. How do you kind of see your operation of this offense? Uh, I felt, you know, I felt like, uh, you know, I was going where I was supposed to go with the ball. I felt like, you know, seeing it well out there. I, just, I didn't, I didn't, I felt like it was sloppy, though, offensively. I felt like, um, you know, there was, you know, just connections here and there that didn't get hit. Um, and, and things that we have to do better if we want to beat better teams or, and win games that are maybe harder or different. You know, if that if that would have been a shootout, you know, we probably, you know, how would we have turned out that, you know, that game because we didn't hit on certain plays that uh, we felt like we should have. But uh, it wasn't, you know, and we ended up winning that game, which is great. But uh, the, uh, the expectation is higher for me uh, offensively. What's the communication been like between you and your receivers, like Mike, Marv, as the passing game tries to get back on track? 
Oh, we're 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 optimistic. We're confident. You know, um, obviously, like we we got we got guys in that room that are perfectionists and you know understand how great we can be, um, and we haven't reached that yet. But um, you know, I, I was I was I'm I'm excited and I'm I'm very optimistic about where we can take it. Again, I know I keep saying that, but. Um, you know, every game is different. Every game is different. You never know when it's going to pop off, and you never know when you're going to hit stride. So, when you look at the plays this year that you would like to have back, is there a common thread? Is there a certain type of, you know, is it is it more missed throws? Is it more not seeing guys? Is, is there a thing that, that's bothering you more than anything else? Um, I think you know, uh, incompletions for the most part. You know, plays that you know we that should be made that aren't made. Those are. And then it happens every weekend, you know, not just to me, but, um, you know, there's, you could ask every guy in that locker room, is there a play that they wish they had back on Sunday or Monday? And they're going to tell you, yeah. Uh, but, you know, you practice to be perfect. Obviously, it's damn near impossible. But, uh, you know, that's the goal. So, so is that an accuracy thing? I mean, what is Kyle? What no. Is uh, I mean, in the moment, in the moment, you know, there are, there are you know, um, there are missed throws, but there's sometimes you put the ball where you want to put it and, you know, a receiver may or may not feel what you felt in that moment. So it's, you know, it goes back and forth and just being on the same page. Um, and like, again, we're all going to make errors, you know, physical errors are going to happen every game. So, um, you know, it's how you respond in the next play. Uh, didn't start the two minute drive off the way we wanted to, ended up, you know, luckily getting the penalty on Marv and then, um, which he'd tell you he'd want to catch that ball nine times, you know, 10 times out of 10, he's going to catch that ball, um, get the PI. And then we respond with JC going down and getting, you know, the check down going for however many it did end up winning the game. So we didn't allow what, you know, took place earlier in that drive to affect, um, you know, the rest of the game. So you've had ups and downs this season. What have you learned from those that you can try to carry over in the next week to try to stay on a high note? Uh, I say, you know, just again, sticking to the process, um, not getting too high, not getting too low is, you know, it's easier said than done. Um, but again, trusting the work that we put in, trusting the guys around me um, and trusting each other, you know, trusting the coaches are putting us in the right position to win um, and going out there and try to execute the plan. When you pull the ball down on a pass play and decide to run, what goes through your head in terms of when you make that decision, how quickly do you make that decision? What's that process like internally? Um, well, the one I scored on, it's always different, and it's always different. Um, you know, I know, I know, I, I haven't been on Twitter, but I, I'm sure people were talking about the uh, the throw to Mar, the Mar being open on the double mover. I didn't, you know, drop back. He's open, but if you watch the play, like you don't have time to, you know, see him. And then I'm moving around. Do I wish I would have looked deep to short? Of course, but when people are, you know, rushing you and stuff like that. At that in that moment, you know, I'm trying to move the chain. So uh, I see Trey, and it's, you know, that's how that play, you know, turns out. And then the play where I have time to survey the field and understand if okay, if I look at James, the defender's going to stop his feet. You know, he may he may move to James, and at that, that split second, boom! I know I got him out leveraged, touchdown. So it's it just, um, you know, that's the tough part about playing quarterbacks. You got to make split decisions. You got to live with that decision. You got to be decisive. So um, there's going to be times you miss somebody. There's going to be times you hit them. It's just, it's. Uh, that's the tough part about playing quarterback. Do you think about the injury at all anymore? Uh, no, no, I try not to. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, the reason I ask, it almost seems like you're looking more comfortable, but I don't know if you ever looked uncomfortable. And I'm just curious how that process has been for you. Um, you know, I feel like it's an ongoing process as far as like, one day you may feel good, one day you may not feel good. Um, you know, you never know. You just, um, but it's gradually, it's, you know, it's gradually gotten better every single day for me. Um, so, yeah. This is a pretty stout defense, Jalen Ramsey uh, back there, and then they're, they're getting some pretty good pressure. What challenges jump out to you for you guys to have to overcome this week? Uh, I'm more so just focused on us getting better offensively um, and as a unit. I think, you know, if, if we continue to get better, um, have a great week and go out there and execute, I, th I think we'll be fine. Tyler, JG told us yesterday he's not concerned about Marvin right now. He said he's seven weeks into his career. You just said you're, you'd like to see things happening better. Is, are you impatient at all with that development? No. No, I'm not worried about him at all. You, you talked about you know, not really having the space that you had you know, in, in the path and that like you've had this year, especially on those two touchdown runs, one, you know, one day in the way in San Francisco where you kind of, you could tell you knew, like, I got this. What is that feeling like when you look and you see it and you're like, 
Uh, is this a touchdown? Is it like where you have a wide open layup and you're like, don't mess it up type of thing? Or how, how do you feel? No, layup's a little different. <laughs> a layup, uh, it's easier to miss a layup, I feel like. But um, no, I mean, it feels good. It feels good for sure. Um, but, you know, like, again, I go back to every play is different. Every game is different. Um, you know, you never know when those opportunities are going to rise, but try to make the most of them when they do. Sorry to go back to the celebration of the yeah. time, but is, is it important to allow guys to sort of express themselves in such an emotion? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I wish there could be more celebrating, and, you know, and I get it, the whole taunting and, like, the uh, sports machine. I mean, I, I don't really taunt people, but, you know, it's um, – I think it's you know it's an emotional game and people should be allowed to you know express that. From the offense's perspective, you talk about the process and all the routines that go into it throughout the week. Have you been able to find any similarities in the process that have resulted in wins versus losses? What? Is there is there something that stands out when you go throughout the week? Well, obviously, every no, single no, week no, 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 you're no, doing something no, into work. no, 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 no. No, I mean, there's been weeks where we have had great practices and got our ass beat, you know, so it's not um, – it's about waking up on game day and being ready to go and ex execute. Whoever makes the most plays, whoever makes more plays than the other team is going to win the game. You know, I'm sure I'm sure the Chargers had a great week of practice. They would say the same thing. But, um, you know, they, they went home, unfortunately, you know, on the short end of the stick, so. Your thoughts on the, uh, the offense defense? Great. <laughs> no, I'm not dead ass. Like, a <laughs> good defense. Like, I don't know what you want me to say about it. What's your thoughts on them guys that, that don't seem to give up on plays, whether it's your alignment, you know, keep blocking when you're, when you're buying time, or certain plays where, like, Trey McBride hustles and recovers, you know, the fumble, or, you know, James Conner forces a fumble. Like yeah, those are, those are, you know, again, it goes back to the culture of just playing hard, you know, the mode of play that JG always speaks about. Um, Without those plays, the game's probably different, you know. So that I think that just speaks to the, um, you know, the consistency and the makeup of you know our, our team. What's kind of mean to you guys um, intangibly in the locker room on practice field? Yeah, you can't put a price tag on uh, you know what JC means. Um, now I I, you know, I could go on and on about about him, but uh, great dude, man, great uh, great teammate, great leader, uh, great player. You know, I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves, uh, but. You know, the, the guys in that room, you know, they, they understand what he is. And to follow up on that, we don't know, right? We yeah. don't know you guys know that you truck somebody, right? In terms of game, it should be a four yard game and an 11 yard game. It's the way he does it. What does that emotional boost do for you in the huddle over the next couple of plays? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's swag, the aura, uh, you know, it's, it's, it energizes the offense, sideline, defense, uh, the whole team, you know, stadium feels that. Um, you know, that's what he is for us. Um, not only a playmaker, but, you know, a guy that, you know, guys can lean on and, and he gets he gets people going for sure. Out there surveying the defense, can you tell and how can you tell like what that the defense gets strained by your ability to make plays with your feet? Can I tell? Can you tell? Um, like, can you tell that you're stressing a defense out? Like, they're, that they have to compensate for you in a very... Uh, not like in the game, not like, you know, as it's going, no, no, I don't, I'm confused, but I, I'm a, yeah, like, I, I don't think that defense is like playing a mobile quarterback, no, you know, if you, like, yeah, I'd rather play a guy that can't move. <laughs> Can you speak to the, uh, the kicker who's next? Yeah, yeah. Both of them. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, Chad, man, I, again, coming in on short notice last week, um, you know, doing his thing and then doing it again, you know, uh, haven't really known him for long, but um, very, very, you know, pleased with what's going on. <laughs> Did you have those same feelings you'd said in San Francisco? You know, you kind of wish you were able to have the ball in your hands. Yeah. Us. You felt the same way this week? Yeah, that's why I like, looked to the sideline with JG and I gave him a thumbs up, like, are you sure you want to, like, because we called victory. And in my head, I was like, well, you know, we, we could score the ball right here and maybe, you know, run the clock down a little bit. But, you know, he, he, he was, you know, adamant about doing it. So, you know, we trust it. Any message for KD, Book, the Suns as they tip tonight? Yeah, I'm excited to watch. Excited to watch. Obviously, um, I'm a big basketball fan, so I'm, you know, I'm always tuned in. I was really, um, you know, a legendary moment last night to be able to watch LeBron and Bronny um, touch, the, touch the court together. So, um, super excited about basketball season being back.